Ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? CNN, Jamal Bowman, Representative, con Congressman, Jamal Bowman, pleads guilty to misdemeanor for falsely pulling alarm. ABC News, Representative Bowman pleads guilty after pulling alarm ahead of House spending bill vote. Fox News, Jamal Bowman pleads guilty in D.C. court. New York Times, Jamal Bowman charged with setting off alarm. National Review, let's read this article really, really quickly. Two-tiered justice system, Biden DOJ protects Dem Congressman Jamal Bowman over... So, it's interesting. You look... Why isn't Representative being charged with felony obstruction of Congress? Because that's what took place. He obstructed a congressional hearing by denying that he pulled the alarm in a really stupid public relations stunt. And now he's charged with a misdemeanor. But if it was a Republican, it would be, oh my God, he tried to overthrow the country. Trump... Um, made him do something that was illegal, commit a crime, and oh, our norms and traditions, oh my God. But you can rest assured that Jimmy Kimmel and Stephen Colbert and Seth Meyer and John Oliver will never in a million years make a joke at the expense of Congressman Bowman. The New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, The Atlantic, um, Vanity Fair, Esquire, Rolling Stone, nobody will care. None of the editors who all despise Trump in 30 or 40 of the major political publications in this country, nobody in Hollywood will care. It was a very uh, sad public relations stunt where he was trying to interfere with an official um, government proceeding. Where have we heard this? Okay, now it's interesting. They say, well, it's nothing like January. Um, Trump never told anyone to commit a crime in January, number one. This is a fact. Trump never told anyone to commit a crime, ever. And by the way, hit subscribe to this channel right now, ladies and gentlemen, to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, Salon, The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, other publications. Go to hagoodman.com. To my super thanks, thank you, that's below. To my new Patreons, thank you so very much. He's not being charged with felony obstruction of Congress. In the man, Could you imagine if somebody who, like one of the like 10 or 12 people on this planet who actually think that message board with the letter makes any sense, it was always an absurd um, conspiratorial is always conspiratorial nonsense. I said it was complete nonsense and quite dangerous in 2018. I was one of the first people to say it was something that was terrible in 2018. But anyway, could you imagine if uh, a person involved with uh, that absurd, lame message board did exactly what uh, Congressman Bowman did? It would be non-stop in the news, the hyperventilating and the apoplectic um, manic response would be, oh my God, oh my God, Trump, Trump, and message boards have converged to have somebody yet again try to prevent an official proceeding in Congress to take place. But that didn't happen. Okay? So... Democrats were scrambling to delay a budget vote. Progressive New York Democrat pulled an alarm. By the way, Progressive, um, Yonkers, one of, the, um, one of the areas he represents, has a 13.2% poverty rate. Okay, higher than the national average. But instead of Congressman Bowman looking at the poverty rate in one of the districts he represents, or one of the areas he represents, he's... He's he's pulling alarms and then, of course, denying it. So he denied, we'll get to that article, he denied pulling the alarm, which, and I got to say, I, the one thing I can say about Congressman Bowman, even though um, it's a theatrical performance that was a f miserably failed public relations stunt, which is what Democrats are used to. We have AOC with a Green New Deal that even Democrats didn't vote for. 
But he did bench 405 pounds, I think. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty good. You can you can look at my video uh, where I I I do a hundred and ten pound dumbbell press each hand, but four hundred five four hundred pretty good I have to say pretty amazing. Um, other than that, uh, he apparently focuses more on public relations than the poverty rate in one of the areas he represents. So that is a typical uh, left leaning quote unquote progressive Democrat. It's all public relations. It's image. They know very well, Democrats, that media will converge along with the Justice Department, along with Hollywood, along with social media algorithms to prevent any discussion of really absurd uh, behaviors. For example, Hunter doing something with another Democratic mayor. Okay, nobody talks about that. In addition to, of course, Hunter being asked for influence, literally advice right here above me, advice on how you could use your influence on the company's behalf. There should never have been even an investigation. It's already within the emails that are shown to have been legitimate. That's why Hunter is suing, I believe, Giuliani. (laughs) So at the same time, Hunter is saying that they stole his laptop, which are abs- which which are full of legitimate, real, genuine emails, which show graft and bribery and selling access to the U.S. government. So it's pretty unbelievable what Democrats get away with. But initially, Democrat Jamal Bowman denies pulling the alarm to delay vote. He has literally stated that, oh no. Democrats have stated, okay, if you interfere in an official proceeding, you're trying to overthrow the government. Then you found out that there were people, speaking of the absurd, stupid message board, dressed in uh, funny uh, costumes, walking around that building, who were then let go because Tucker Carlson showed that it wasn't some kind of rebellion. Yes, there were people committing crimes, but... Within that building, a lot of people were just walking around. Okay, not what Democrats have and media have told you. But the whole big thing was they're trying to interfere with an official proceeding, which is exactly what Congressman Bowman did. Okay, did he do exactly what um, the people committing crimes, major crimes did? No, of course not. But all throughout that summer, you had one to two billion dollars in property damage. Okay, I agree with why people peacefully demonstrated, but then again, Democrats get away with pretty much everything. One to two billion dollars in property damage from left-leaning demonstrators, and again, I'm not equating the underlying causes for the mayhem. I agree with why people peacefully demonstrated that summer, but if you're going to If Democrats are going to benefit politically and media is going to just uh, not care about billions in property damage and focus on one day in January with one of the major concerns being a congressional um, and government proceeding being impeded, then felony obstruction of Congress not only would have been leveled against any Trump supporter if they did what Congressman Bowman did, but according to Democrats, should have also been leveled against Congressman Bowman. But you're talking about Democrats who use the law and public relations and media in every possible way to further their political ambitions. OK, that's why when people like obsess over Trump, um, Trump never pulled an alarm to prevent a congressional proceeding from taking place. OK, that was a Democrat. OK, could you imagine if Trump had done this, by the way? Could you imagine if Donald Trump had done exactly what Congressman Bowman did? Immediately, there would be felony obstruction of Congress. And that's why there's not only a two-tiered, even the National Review, not very supportive of Trump, even the National Review is saying the double standard. There is a double standard in American politics, in American society. If you're a Democrat, you could pretty much get away with most things. If you support Trump or Trump Republicans, it's a completely different story. Give me your thoughts below. 
hit subscribe right now to this channel.